So after letting Murray die uh, from that stupid guy, we redo this. This is actually my second attempt. I only have to do this twice. Because um, now I know A, where all the enemies spawn, B, that uh, he not only steals my life, but uh, uh, but that what hits him, I'm now well aware of what can do damage. So I just start like getting rid of all the nuclear waste that I can see. Um, and I thought I, I thought I killed him right there, and I'm like, what? That wasn't even near you. <laughs> but he was just getting scared of the uh, the, the bandits. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. Whew, you scared the shit out of here, out of me here. That's what I meant to say. Um, so yeah. So now, if you notice, both of his horseshoes are now missing, uh, which led me to the thing that I'm fairly sure that it slides horseshoes. Um, I'm pretty sure that confirms the fact that since not only we came in with horseshoes. Uh, he not only, yeah, he, we came here with horseshoes, and then the fact that he uh, doesn't have any now, I assume that means that they're slides and they carry over. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're getting ready. I now we know where all the bad guys are, and for whatever reason, I can never kill that guy. Here's the dude on like steroids or whatever. He just run so fast and he almost died there <laughs> and now that I know the guy is up here and I'm like I'm waiting done. for him no. we literally had two people left two freaking people <laughs> oh that was so annoying two people two people left to kill before we won with Murray Murray's missions as much as I love Murray, Murray's missions are not the best. They're not very fun. <laughs> they are always, like, harder than they should be. Like, racing, the racing in this game feels, as I mentioned, kind of floaty and hard to control. Then you have these, like, random uh, escort missions where you have to, like, protect Murray before he, you know, gets his butt shot off by a bunch of random dogs. Ugh. I'm much, I, apparently I'm much better at Sly Cooper's missions than Murray's mission. Um, luckily because Sly is the majority of this game. <laughs> we did a lot more than three levels, so we have all three keys. We have more than three keys. Um, and you might be wondering, why would I get three keys? This is why. <laughs> yep, we then throw the car into the wooden planks, and now we can enter the, the casino. <laughs> Why not just, like, you know, find another way in? Because that would have been much, much easier. And much more logical. Plus, we also get to see a car break into a building. So that's a lot of fun. So, I don't actually find the, uh, the trigger point where it explains what's going on. Uh, but we need three more keys to unlock this, this section here. Um, what we need to do is that there's an elevator uh, behind the mugshot face. And we need to get three more keys to unlock the power source to it. We then hit the power switch, turns on the power, obviously, and then we can go through the elevator to, to meet up with a mugshot. So I decided to go with this mission first because A, we're closer, and B, it's on the ground while the other two, we have to do a little parkour. This is two to tango. Yep, I remember this mission. This mission, one of the more interesting ones, I'll tell you that. Um, doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Yuck, these rooftops are filthy. I'll show you why after Bentley's done yelling. Well, they are the only way to get to the key, since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near Mugshot's penthouse. Uh, so I'll explain why this mission is one of the few that doesn't really make much sense. Um, after this next cutscene that will happen... Wait for it. Now. Well, well, well. Look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. True that. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. 
So, the reason why I feel like this mission is so random is, uh, if you go off of, like, official police record things, if you spot a known criminal, then you would, like, lock down that place. Um, but she's only in this particular mission. <laughs> it's a fun mission, don't get me wrong. It has a bunch of, t of coins, so you can, like, uh, if you ever, like, need horseshoes, you can just come here. Um, which is nice. There's a lot of coins. Um, but it was funny because when I was playing this, my little brother was like, why is his girlfriend shooting at him? And I'm like, that's not his girlfriend. That's his, uh, that's a police officer trying to chase him. And he goes, oh, well, I thought they were boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> it's like he can, he can call the future. Because I'm fairly sure there is something that goes on between these two. I just thought it was funny that, like, his first interaction, his first time hearing them talk, it's like, well, they're boyfriend and girlfriend, obviously. <laughs> well, actually, he's a criminal and she's a cop, but it's complicated, okay? I also have to repeat this mission a few times because I missed, uh, two, three barrels, three bottles. Um, I missed, no, four bottles. There was two back on that roof, there's one on this roof that I didn't check, and then there's a bottle in here, which I don't really know how I missed now that I'm watching it over, because it's in the corner of my view. I didn't see it walking in, so I can't exactly blame it, so I, uh, blame the camera angle on that one, because I did technically see it. Um, I can say with the other three bottles that they were outside of my point of view, but in all seriousness, I should have probably been looking around the, the rooftop. Uh, it's not a big deal, I can just I can replay the mission. What I love about when you replay a mission, uh, when you replay this particular mission, is that that cutscene with them talking doesn't happen every time, so she just randomly appears and starts shooting at you. And you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with that? Well, at the end of this mission, you'll see why I, f I, I find it really weird and one of the awkward, one of the more awkward missions, um, because of the way how it ends. So I missed four bottles. Um, as I mentioned, so I can't exactly unlock this, and I was, I was like, oh my god, no, the vault's right here, please, please give me f four bottles, and I assume since I go past this area, she's back, and then once the, the area starts falling apart, that's sort of when I realize that I won't be able to backtrack and find the four bottles, um, but we got an extra life, because we, we haven't messed up and we got hit, but, you know, actually playing the game, not getting wrecked random stupid things. Ah, uh, just running on some more seas and I'm pretty sure does she get fined for all of this public damage? Like public property damage? Like I mean I know she's a cop, but she's destroying a bunch of destroyed buildings. I mean I guess no one's inside them, but that's a lot of property damage here, my friend. I missed that jump here because some terrible uh, mattress jumper. Probably should have died on that because the, the bullet hit like seconds before I did. I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. So what I assume is that balloon was tied up to the fire hydrant that we just destroyed. And after destroying it, it would mean that the balloon would drift off. But that the funny part about this, if you replay this mission, she randomly pops up and starts shooting you like it was the same old mission. But if this doesn't make much sense because it's like she just got, she got, she just like left. She got, she was on the balloon. She came back to it. They restored the the fire hydrant, and I think I almost died here. Yeah, that was not not very smooth. Um, but yeah, so not only should, does she get back on to the same balloon at the end of the mission, I don't know. It just feels it feels funny just watching her like mess up at the same time. In the same way, I might add. So yeah, there's the last one. I felt like an idiot missing that one, but the other two, the other three, I should mention. Uh, not mention, but the other three, I should say. Uh, I wasn't feeling too bad that I missed because the camera angle didn't show them to me. I mean, obviously they shouldn't because that would ruin the point of exploration. But I felt rushed because I was getting shot at by a police officer. You'll have to apologize to me on that one. Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try 532. Okay, 532. Easy. Still not my 322. I want one of these codes to be 322. That'd be so good. You found the blueprints for mug 
Buckshot's additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binoculum to get the information. I still feel like this is one of the more random mission, or uh, not missions, but unlockables. Uh, just because it's like, the, for the most part, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on too many things. Um, by the way, hashtag production value, by the way. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. Uh, I, just, I didn't want to like reshow you everything again. Because you've already seen how that mission ends. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I feel like that unlockable thing where it shows you all the uh, clues is kind of, I wouldn't say a waste, but I feel like it's, uh, it's rather odd because you, for the most part you can just like walk around with smashing X, or not X, square, sorry, PS3 controller, not Xbox. Um, you can just smash the square button to figure out what's breakable or not. And I remember this mission, uh, this mission was horrible. One, because that happened, he, I, I thought I could attack as he was being repelled, but he just, like, he was a few frames before he had the chance to run at me, and just as he did that, I, I attacked, so he not only hit me, but I killed him at the same time. Oh, it was so annoying. Um, but the reason why I don't like this mission is this upcoming area. Listen. It's horrifying. Ah. So, in order to get to the other side, we have to jump off of this, and we have to hit that. But I can never hit that stupid thing. <laughs> it was aggravating. I'm, even, I'm pretty sure that I even try and, like, just restart the level by throwing myself off instead of restarting the level. Um, pretty sure I, like, try and kill myself. Now, you might be wondering, like, why would you just, why would you do that? That's really stupid. Um, I also wanted to, to see how level, how dying in this works. Um, so as you notice, I have this, like, red hue around me. Uh, if you, when you take damage, you, uh, have, like, a invulnerable period where you cannot get hurt. And that's what that red hue is for. Um, just in case you're wondering. That's how I found out about it. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier in one of my previous... Pretty sure we mentioned it in, like, Raleigh's world, but, uh... Ra Raleigh's world. I mentioned it in Wayne's world, you know? <laughs> oh, anyway. Pretty sure I mentioned it in Raleigh's world when we were in a factory, but that's not where I learned to... That's, this is where I learned the facts. I was just giving you guys the facts beforehand, in case you're wondering. Um, but I missed it this time. Horribly. Like, <laughs> it was that good. I spent a lot of time trying to, like, hit this thing. Uh, because I, I feel like I can hit it. Uh, but I need that, I need that, uh, what's it called? It's air conditioning? I think it's an air conditioning. Um, I'm so close to hitting it, though, and it, ah, oh, it's aggravating. I think I have one more attempt, and then I decide to, like, just go on with the mission. Oh, fuck it. Nope. One more. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is where I'm trying to, like, learn where to go. One more attempt? Okay. I do go back and grab that. Uh, I think I re I think I have some hashtag production value to, to show you me- To show you of me- To show you guys me getting it. There you go. English is apparently hard. Uh, so I thought this way was, like, a secret way, but this is actually the way you go. Um, pretty sure there's, like, an automatic drink back jump back so I can't actually walk on their heads. Um, this is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of spotlights and in order to get past we need to uh, hide under here. And we have to jump over the barriers. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> I almost jumped into the camera itself. Good. And then you do the same thing here except you have to hide uh, my tail sticking out, so how they missed that, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure that's... Is that Sly Cooper or a dog? Graffiti on the, the wall over there. Like an aggressive Sly Cooper. So I don't know how I survived that. I do lose a horseshoe here because I like go balls to the wall and I'm like, haha, throw my body at the bottles. Um, it's in like a little dented area, so you can't just like... Uh, casually walk and hit it. Now watch this. I get all three of these bottles 
perfectly fine. But the one at the beginning, I have such a fucking hard time dealing with. Oh, it's aggravating. It's like salt in the wound right there. Uh, luckily, it's only a bottle we miss, so um, it's not too, too bad. If he had missed like 12 other bottles, that would, that would have been a huge problem. <laughs> I think the most I've ever missed is like four, five bottles. I don't think we've missed like more than 10 at the most. And there's one more bottle. So this is, this looks like weird. Um, we're like casually like, it looks like we're shimmying like a, against a wall to the, to the end. But it looks so odd when you're on a plank and there's no wall behind you, so 